Hey guys, Draco here, and today I want to show you five things I wish I knew before I started Nightingale. So let's get into it. So the first thing I wanted to show you is if you eat three different types of food, you can get three different types of food buffs at the same time. These are all stacking, they all have different effects. This will help you greatly with increasing your max HP, your stamina, and all kinds of other things. The next thing I wanted to show you is that different weapons have different abilities. <clears throat> For instance, an axe can block, pickaxe can block, and a hunting knife has a dodge. Another thing I wish I knew before I started was that different weapons have different stats. For instance, a pickaxe is piercing, an axe is slashing, and a hunting knife does stealth and critical damage. Another thing I wish I knew is later on you'll be able to get a follower by completing a quest for him and then recruiting him. You're also able to put items on him and have him carry them and also equip them. But he can only equip certain items, so make sure to check. Another thing I wish I knew is you can give your fo follower a weapon and he will use to do work. And then when you go to a chest, you can actually go inside the menu and check mark survivors and he'll put the items into the chest for you or you'll be able to take items from the chest last thing i want to show you is if you want to go back to your base real quick you just hit travel to respite and it'll bring you right back to your base right away if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to help you can buy me a copy by clicking the link down in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.